So I'm going to get you out of here very soon. But with each speaker, I like to share 10 golden nuggets of wisdom. So let me share a few that really resonated with me. And by the way, my pen was running out of ink, so I can barely read these myself. And if anyone's seen my writing, it's horrible as it is, so I might mess this up. But bear with me. Number one, promote problem resolution with civil discourse. That's one that can, whether it's in our families or whether our businesses and politics, etc., cetera, I thought that was a very powerful one. Who's to blame for what has happened to our country? We are. Look around the room. The person in your seat. We are. We are a country that thrives because of its diversity. I love that one. And we should always, always remember that. And we should embrace that diversity. I've had the opportunity to travel around the world recently in several areas. And so many societies are just so homogenous. And um, just amazing when you come back to America to see that diversity. When you have people with differing opinions in the same room together, they tend to act more civilly together. That'd be interesting. Who should you invite out to lunch or over to your home and break bread together and build some bridges? By the way, I'm adding my thoughts on the end. He didn't say all that, but I can do that because I'm, I'm at the podium. Have something to say, not just a sound bite. How often today are all of our conversations around these little sound bites that we get, and we build our whole argument around it, yet we don't deconstruct it a little bit and get to understand people a little bit more. I think I'm going to get the percentage wrong, but here's what I thought you said. 90% of Congress is reelected in safe seats, forcing extreme competition at the primary level. Scorch earth tactics. Take more of government out of politics. That's an interesting one. If we have a civilly illiterate, civically illiterate populace, how can we expect democracy to survive? And the last one is money goes where it's going to make a difference. And I'd like to add to that, which can be positive or negative.